Welcome back. Let's take a look at exercise 7-5. Continuing on with long-term assets, now we shift our focus onto intangible assets. Here we have Brickout Corporation that made the following expenditures during the first month of operations. So they've spent money on various things totaling $131,500. They want us to record the journal entry for these expenditures. So let's see what, what did they purchase. So the first is they paid the attorney $9,000 to organize the corporation. This normally would just look like an expense, legal expense, legal, uh, legal fees or legal expense. However, when you're organizing a company, the monies that you pay are going to benefit the life of the business. Therefore, you get to capitalize those fees if it is in excess of $5,000. So we'll start out with uh, a journal entry over here on October 1st. They've told us first month of operations. I'm just assuming it's October 1st. First month of operations, I'm going to debit an account called organizational cost. That's an intangible asset. And I'm going to credit cash. And that's for the $9,000. And I'll explain what we're going to do with this after I'm done with all my journal entry. So that was the first one. And this is, this is the piece that we paid the lawyers. Next, we purchased a patent for $40,000. And we had to pay another $2,500 in legal fees to have that patent transferred into our name. So this patent that we purchased and the legal fees we paid. These numbers are put together and we debit an account called patent. So all of this put together, the purchase price plus the legal fees. It's a one-time expense I had to incur. That's going to be patent debit, cash credit 42,500. We purchased a patent from someone else. Again, in a minute, I'll show you what we do with this patent account. Right now, we're keeping these as assets in our books, intangible assets, organization cost, and patent in the balance sheet. And then finally, we spent $80,000 advertising our business. In the very first month, obviously, we hope you're going to get the benefit for an extended period of time. Now, for advertising expense, unfortunately, no matter how much you spend, you have to expense it immediately. So that's going into your income statement immediately. Advertising expense debit, cash credit, $80,000. So this goes into your income statement. Organization cost and patent are going to go into your balance sheet. So what do we do in the balance sheet with these assets? Well, we're hopefully going to get benefits out of them. We're going to amortize it. We'll look at this later on how to do the amortization. Amortization is nothing but allocating the cost over an extended period of time. For intangible assets, we are told what that time period is going to be, and we are told by actually some government agency. So we are told by uh, FASB and GAP that organization cost has to be amortized over a period of 180 months, or you can choose to do it over a shorter period of time. Patents, from the time the patent was granted, there's a maximum of 20 years. Given that I purchased the patent, let's say it was a five-year-old patent I purchased, I'll have only the remaining 15 years over which I can amortize it. The US Patent Office is going to give this 20 years to whoever files the patent originally. Advertising expense, I already told you, this is an expense, so you don't get to amortize anything. You're expensing it immediately. Organization cost and patents, they're going to get amortized over a relevant period of time, relevant for that individual intangible asset. So this is a little different than what we talked about in the previous videos where we were looking at tangible assets, property, plant, and equipment that were purchased. So with this, we'll move on to our next exercise.